Okay, uh, today we will start something new and very innovative topic that is we are going to develop a hybrid approach using Rectina, RF absorber, CMOS, short key diode and then combination of all these three using uh, electrical network controller system or it can be a electrical management system. The uh, core of this configuration is that we are going to develop a RF energy harvester at 2.4 gigas, at 2.3 gigas, at 1.9 gigas and at 1.6 gigas which caters to the frequency of mobile towers that is 2300 megahertz, 1900 megahertz as well as a GPS frequency that is 1.6 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz that is Wi-Fi frequency. How we have thought of to develop this architecture that we have developed a rectifier using CMOS devices. We have also developed a rectifier using short key diode in two different configuration that is voltage doubler and voltage multiplier as quadrupler. Then one more thing we have developed that we have integrated these rectifier circuits with RF absorber using array of SRRs. Here we have used array at 2.4 gigas at 1.6 GPS at 2.3 gigas and at 1.9 gigas and then uh, we have developed a integrated circuit which can operate at uh, low sensitivity that is very low received power which will be uh, integrated or connected with CMOS rectifier which can be operated at 0 0.7 uh, volt even lesser volt. Then for when uh, we are able to get sufficient RF in to the rectina which has gain of more than 21 dB and then uh, this uh, rectina circuit is able to provide a sufficient amount of uh, gain due to that high gain we are able to get high received power and this received power is sufficient enough to drive diode network voltage doubler and voltage uh, multiplier that is quadrupler. It means uh, with these uh, low voltages and uh, high voltages as a DC voltage output we are able to get very sensitive uh, se sensitive circuit in terms of RF uh, energy harvesting at the same time using rectina which is having high gain we are able to achieve high voltage DC output. So, this is a new technique of integrating all these uh, devices into one go and then uh, we give these all the inputs at different frequency bands and different rectifier circuits to a uh, electrical power management circuit which will be uh, supplying to various type of loads. We have also analyzed that the DC output voltage is uh, dependent on load. Sometime we connect uh, 1k load, sometime we connect 4.7k, sometime we connect only 100 uh, ohm load. So, depending on the load, there are uh, DC power fluctuations that is being observed. At the same time, it is also observed <laughs> that the high gain rectina is able to give high DC output, output voltage. And one more observation during experimentation has been observed that if we connect absorber across uh, ab absorber of uh, these arrays of SRR and then there is a gap if we connect uh, diode that is we have connected 7630 HSMS diode but uh, we can connect 28, uh, 28 HMS, HSMS uh, we can also connect uh, 286 uh, D series diodes 
at these frequencies and we have observed during experimentations that when we connect the uh, diodes across the SRR gap of observer, we are able to get 0.7 uh, uh, millivolt of output across each diode. Sometime if the power uh, received is more, we are able to get uh, the DC voltage output across the diode uh, sometime larger than this. Then uh, we have connected the two diode uh, in reverse polarity, it means we are able to rectify the full wave. Then we have connected the bridge rectifier across uh, the capacitor, then we have tried to uh, get VDC output. This configuration has been uh, connected uh, with uh, rectina also. But the observation which we have observed is that the uh, voltage available across observer is low in the diodes whereas the voltage available across the rectina of higher gain is larger. This way if we are able to configure our input uh, permutation and commutations to get desired uh, load variations then we are able to develop this voltage harvester circuit in a optimal way. For this we need a, uh, a controller based uh, voltage management circuit. Now we are looking uh, towards that circuit that we are going to develop a voltage management uh, circuit using controller and in this we will be able to uh, develop a programmable device which will take all these permutation and combinations and uh, will be able to give us the desired output as a VDC and then we will be successfully able to convert these IoT devices into self sustainable uh, devices that is what our target is. This is all uh, for today's lecture. Thank you.